Hey guys, Jared Beckwith here. I'm a registered EEG technologist, and in today's video, I'm sharing a interesting record where on the surface, it just looks like muscle activity. Maybe the patient is chewing. This looks pretty common, rhythmic chewing. That's what it looks like on the surface. But upon further investigation, when reducing the artifact, we were able to see something fishy's going on here. If you compare the right temporal chain in your double banana montage, which is here at the bottom, and you compare it to the left temporal side, uh, something's a little off here, guys. This one's like lo a little lower amplitude. This one's definitely higher amplitude. You're seeing like little spikes. You're seeing a little spike and wave action here. Now, it's good to take into account the artifact reduction filter in our software, Ion. It's great, but it also has its limitations. As you can see, there's some still residual muscle activity left behind, but it does a pretty good job to where you can see the epileptic spikes underneath the chewing artifact. Now, how can I be so sure? Well, if we go further on the EEG, as you can see on this page, you can't really tell anything that's happening, but if we continue to scroll, we can see, oh yeah, that's, that's what we were seeing over here. There's a clear asymmetry where it's different on here, on the right side of the temporal region, compared to the left side of the temporal region. You're gonna see on this side, four to five waves per second, rhythmic, higher amplitude, spike and wave, and there's obviously a seizure going on in the right frontotemporal region predominantly. So this is a focal seizure happening primarily in one area of the brain, and it continues on. There's some more chewing also involved, and seizure continues in this area, and it ends right here. This is the normal EEG, and everything before this is the right temporal predominant seizure. You can see a clear change after the end of the seizure. So that's how you can mark it. Seizure end for the doctor, ictal end, however you like to say it. And it's good to look at the difference between the normal, I guess, EEG without a seizure to compare it to the seizure EEG so you can get a little bit of the difference in your head. So this is without the seizure. And if we scroll back to the seizure, just so you guys can see, it looks way different. It stands out from the background a lot. And luckily, luckily the patient didn't continue chewing the whole time and we were able to confirm after the chewing that yes, this is in fact a right temporal seizure. And we were even, even able to see it underneath the chewing artifact as well with our artifact reduction. And the last thing to check would be the trends. If you need help localizing your seizures, the flame in the right temporal region burns the brightest. It's the hottest compared to all the other regions that we're calculating. So that's another way to confirm, yes, right temporal seizure. And if you look at the amplitude, the amplitude is pretty high right here, probably about 100. And then after the seizure, the average amplitude goes all the way down and dips back down to more of an average regular amplitude for this patient. And that's pretty much it for this patient. Hope you guys learned something. Hope it was informative looking at the seizure versus the non-seizure and also being able to localize where it's happening in the brain. Thank you all for watching. My name is Jared Beckwith. Subscribe for more videos. Make sure you hit the like button and I'll see you all on the next one.